Hey GED students, I got an email with this equation a student was struggling with. Uh, again, it's an equation, it's got that equal sign in the middle we can see, and uh, right there, equal sign, and an expression on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So it is an equation, so we can solve it. We do have the power to find out what x is equal to, okay? Uh, this particular student started by noticing there was some distribution she could do on the right-hand side. There was some simplifying over there, and that's totally fine. Um, great way to start, not the only way to go, but certainly an acceptable way, so I will do that as well. So let's see, negative 3 times x. That's the first thing I do. Remember, as I distribute, I'm multiplying, and negative 3 times x is just negative 3x. When mathematicians want to say that a number and a variable, a letter, are multiplying, they just shove them real close together, <laughs> okay? And now I need to multiply negative 3 by positive 2. You go, but doesn't that say plus 2? Yes, but when I am multiplying, I read it as positive 2. So you could do this in your calculator or you could do this in your head. But negative 3 times positive 2 is definitely not 15. I think you were doing, and that's what the student had gotten, I think you were doing some kind of um, addition and multiplication conglomeration. But what we're doing right now is we are multiplying negative 3 times positive 2. And I do get negative 6. What it is like is it's like I'm subtracting 3 two times. Well, if I subtract 3 two times, I'm going to end up subtracting a total of 6. And that's why negative 3 times positive 2 is negative 6. Okay, or subtract 6. So there we got a negative 3x minus 6. Now, I didn't do anything on that left-hand side there, so I'm still going to have that equal 6. And now, there is no more simplifying I can do on the uh, right-hand side. Uh, I cannot do this subtraction because those are not like terms. And there's certainly nothing to do on the right-hand side. That, I mean, on the left-hand side, that's just a single number. So now it's time to start solving, working to get the letter alone. Now, as I solve, remember that we move two terms first, things that are adding and subtracting. So I will move over that minus 6 by doing the opposite, adding 6. Now I can do whatever I want to an equation as long as I do it to both sides. So you're going to see that I jumped across the equal sign and did it over there as well. Okay, so what is 6 plus 6? Well, it's 12. My equal sign will stay nice and steady. And on the right-hand side, subtracting 6 and adding 6 are opposites. They cancel. So what I'm left with is negative 3x. Now, I'm almost done. X is almost alone. Uh, but I need to get rid of this negative 3. Now, I don't care if you say minus 3 or negative 3. Notice that this number and the x are shoved up really tight next to each other. There's nothing between them. That means they're multiplying. In order to get rid of something that's multiplying, I'll do the opposite. I'll divide. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. What should I divide by? Exactly the number I want to get rid of. So I'll divide by negative 3. Now I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides. So I'm going to hop across the equal sign, divide by negative 3 over there as well. And let's see what our new equation will be on the uh, left-hand side. And you can do this in your calculator. But 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4. And on the right-hand side, multiplying and dividing by negative 3 cancels. So my x is alone. And I get the final answer. x is equal to negative 4. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.